guys, welcome back to Rock Fabulous 40s and today I'm going to do a review for you on something that I found in my local Walgreens. I've heard these talked about before, but this is the first time I've ever seen them. So these are the Baby Skin Instant Cheek Flushes and like I said, I found these at my local Walgreens and they were $5.99 each and they only had two colors available. I'm not exactly sure how many colors are actually available in the line but these are the only two colors that I've ever been able to find. So when you open them up, they come in little pots like this and they are just so freaking cute. Look at that. Adorable. And what these are, are these are supposed to give you just a pop of natural looking color on the cheeks. It's not, sorry I have an itch, it's not supposed to be anything that's extremely dramatic. It's just supposed to be a very natural pop. That's it. And so for that purpose, I really actually like how these look on the cheeks, just for that natural pop of color. Now, I have the two colors called Pop of Peach and Pinking of You, and I'm going to show you guys the two swatches that I have here. This is Pop of Peach here, and, well, this one here, and then here is Pinking of You. Now, Pop of Peach is a little more peachy, hence the name, plus it's a little bit deeper in color as well. So that's the one that I'm wearing today is Pop of Peach. And did I already mention these were $5.99? I think I did. I think I mentioned that. Anyway, so, you know, this kind of goes along with the whole baby skin line. You know, the baby skin line has got the uh, baby skin primer, which honestly I'm not a fan of because it broke me out. Um, you've also got the baby skin um, lip glosses, the baby skin lip balms, and now you've got the baby skin cheek flushes. Now, I'm going to go ahead and get into the likes and the dislikes of these products. And I'm going to be, you know, up front with you guys and tell you that I really love how it looks on my cheeks. But I am not really, really thrilled with the product in itself. And let me explain. So when you apply, and I, I'm not going to lie, guys, I got a ton of makeup on today. I'm sure you guys can see it. I'm trying to pull off this whole 90s rocker look, which... Um, with Halloween coming up, I'm doing a lot of experimenting with makeup and stuff. So, um, yeah, I'm not exactly sure if I pulled it off. But I am wearing a lot of makeup, and I am wearing a lot of foundation today. But when you apply these, okay, you unscrew it from the pot. The product is in a little, you know, rounded part that comes up. And then you have this little skinny part here that you hold on to. And when you apply, you kind of swipe it onto the cheeks. And then you want to take a stippling brush and stipple it in. Don't swipe it in. Stipple it in with a stippling brush. Now, the reason why I say that is, is because if you try to blend it in, it's going to pull off every bit of makeup you have on underneath it. And that's not cool. <laughs> so apply it, stipple it. You could probably even take your stippling brush and rub it in here and then stipple it on. I haven't tried that yet, so I'm not sure how well the color shows when you do that. Now, me doing that, applying it on and then stippling it, I really, really like the effect I get from this. I mean, it is gorgeous. I don't need a highlighter because it gives me that fresh, dewy pop of color on my cheeks. And it doesn't accentuate any pores or fine lines, which is really awesome because normally things that give me that dewy, luminous look accentuate those features that I don't like. This does not do that. Okay, so that part I'm loving. It is absolutely wonderful. Now, here's the cons. Like said, when you apply, if you try to blend it, because it's so creamy, it's going to pull off anything that you have underneath it. Okay, so that's number one. Number two, also, because it's so luminous and so creamy, it never completely dries down. So it stays tacky. If I feel my face right now, and I've had this on a couple of hours, okay, it still feels tacky. The staying power is not great. I can usually get, if I don't touch my face at all, or give it any excuse to wipe off, I can get, you know, two, three hours out of it. And I've had it on now for about two hours. But the first time I pick up my phone and try to talk on my phone, it's going to get all over my phone and it's going to come off of my face. So that's kind of a big, big con for me. I wish it would dry down and still be able to keep this lumino luminous, dewy look. I would absolutely love that. So, you know, other than those two cons, I mean, it is a really, really pretty product on. Now, if I didn't have such poor skin where I needed a ton of foundation, you know, I would probably just go with a BB cream and just swipe this on and be done with it and, and be good. But, yeah, unfortunately, I'm not able to do that. 
Now, so for me, this particular product, even though I love how it looks on my skin, for me, this particular product does not work for me because it does not dry down. Now, I'm not saying that it's not going to work for you. Maybe that's something that you don't mind, or if you've got really great skin and don't need a whole lot of foundation, you could probably get away with this. Um, but for me, it doesn't work all that well. However, I don't regret buying it because the packaging is just too freaking cute. So if nothing else, I'm going to display the packaging. So I just, I absolutely love the packaging. So, you know, granted they were $5.99 each. I might get a little use out of them on days when I'm going very, very light, easy makeup. But for the most part, for me, it's, it's just not a big wow factor for me when it comes to blush. All right, guys, so that's pretty much it in a nutshell. Those are my thoughts and my opinions on the Maybelline Baby Skin Instant Cheek Flush. And, you know, guys, let me know down below if you guys have found these and tried them, what you thought of them. Did they last for you? You know, let me know if you like them. All right, guys, so I hope this review was helpful. If it was, like I said, leave comments down below. Also, you can look me up under Rock Fabulous 40s on Pinterest, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Tumblr. Also, guys, hit subscribe down there somewhere, and you too can rock your Fabulous 40s. And I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.